Same as Maja. Maja occurs when two or more firms come together to become one. They operate to become one. But when it comes to the Maja, it means a firm or there's a split in that business or in that company to have separate entity. So that means we have company A, which has to split different units to become their own company. That is what the Maja is. Do we get the Maja or I have to explain again? The Maja means a company has been splitted into different units. Each unit become a whole. That is the merger. Company A has been splitted. We have company A, which has been splitted into different units. And each unit starts with, each unit now has its own A, B, C, and D. It is company A. But one way or the other, due to different reasons, which I'm gonna explain, they now have different units that is standing as a whole. So company A has now been splitted. It's no more company A. That is the merger. You know, merger of course when company K, B, C, D comes together to be company A. To be company A, B, C, or whatever I want to call it. That is merger. But the merger means company A has been splitted into different units, and each unit becomes a whole. One business. A whole. A whole. Become its own. Its own business. That is the merger. Do they we get the merger? They don't take orders from like company. Right? What? They don't take orders from. Yes, company. sort of. So it becomes an independent entity. It stays on its own. That is the merger. Do we get the merger now? Yes. So what are the reasons why a company will be splitted into different units to become a whole? Number one. Lack of synergy. When talking about synergy, synergy itself simply means a situation that means that a whole, a whole will function well than the sum of the parts. I'm, sorry, no. I'm going to explain it again. This is a whole, right? This is a whole. A is a whole. A plus B plus C plus D. Coming together to become one. So what we're saying is that if all these companies come together, they work as one, it's better than them working separately. So a whole is bigger, better, more efficient than the sum of a part. So instead of A to do its own, B to do its own, C to do its own, D to do its own separately, and putting them together, they are not going to still be efficient as coming together to become A. That is what synergy is. Do you understand what synergy is now? Synergy is a situation whereby you think about a whole bigger and better than the sum of the parts. Do you understand synergy now? Yes. Is it clear or I need to explain again? The first reason why a firm might be splitted into different units is because they lack synergy. And what is synergy? Synergy means when the sum, when the whole is bigger and better than the sum of the parts. So we think that as a whole, we are supposed to be more efficient. As a whole, we are supposed to be more efficient. But we find out that we are not efficient. So we demerged. We demerged. Lack of synergy. Do we get it now or not? Yes. As a whole, we are supposed to function well, better, efficient. But we find out that something is missing. We are not efficient. So the mindset is to come together to be one and perform well. But what we are witnessing is the reverse. As a result, we have to demerge. Maybe I need to find myself. You need to find yourself. He needs to find herself. She needs to find herself. He needs to find out himself. Because working together is not giving us the result. So that is lack of synergy. So lack of synergy will bring about the margin. We didn't function well together. Then maybe we will function well separately. Do we get it? Yes, yes. Great. The second one, value, the value. The price of this the large firm is higher than the price of a single large firm. So the value here is the company is A. The worth of A is not as much as the worth of B or C or D. So what I'm saying is take the firm away, take each unit away. You find out that the worth of each unit is bigger than the worth of the whole firm. So what I'm saying is this. IKS as an example, there's IKS, it's a school. So, let's take 
the branch in Siraj, away from the branch in Tegmata, for example, just cite an example, you find out that the branch in Tegmata is more valuable than the branch in Siraj, for example. Do you get the point here? Yes. So it means Siraj, the branch in Tegmata can stand as a whole on its own. So, but for the fact that Siraj and Tegmata are still together, the world is not that as big as it should be. But taking it out will show you the real value of the one in Tegmata. So that means the one in Tegmata is the one carrying all the value of the school. Do you get it? So for its benefit that it emerges it's from Siraj, so it, it stays on the level. So sometimes, firms, the demarge firm has a higher price than the whole of the firm. Do we get it? Or I should cite another example. No, we get it. We get it. Yeah. Good. That's the second reason. The third one is focused company. Some businesses, they don't need to spread their risk. They don't need to diversify. They only have to focus on certain group of customers. But being in that group, being in that company, does not allow them to, spread, to focus. Big firms diversify. They spread risk. They have different product portfolio. They have different dealings. Yes or no? Yes. But this might be the weakness of some unit in that company. So that unit wants to stay out so that it can focus on its own customers. Do we understand focus company here? Yes. It's about the market itself. But when you are a unit, when you are a whole, you don't have the opportunity to stand or to decide alone because you are a whole. But you find out that you can have a specific group of customers, but the business or the company is not allowing you to have this focus, this target. Then you need to leave. You need to leave by separating, by demanding. Do you understand focus company here? Focus company means the business, the unit that has been split, can now focus on a specific aspect of a market instead of focusing on diversification. Oh, I guess does education, it does health, it does finance, it does all these things. Why can't IKS have a finance company separately that focuses on finance? Do we understand focused company? Do we understand or not, please? Yes. Some doesn't understand. Yeah, I will explain again. We are talking about why firms can demarge, can become a whole on their own after splitting. One of the reasons is that you find out a niche. You find out that you can actually focus on specific customers. But being in that company, being part of that whole, you cannot. Sometimes you need to move out of that shell to become your own, you, to become who you want to become. So a lot of businesses, because they are so big, hello, are you here? A lot of businesses, because they are so big, they cannot focus on specific aspects of the market. So for you to be able to focus on specific aspects of the market, you might need to leave that all to become your own. So when you become your own, then you can find your market or target market, targeted market or consumers. Is it clear now? Yes, yes, yes. And the last, okay, that's the last, okay, that's the last one. So these are what we call the merger. The merger occurs when there is a space in a company to become different units. That is the merger. And these are the reasons why the merger occurs. There's lack of synergy. When we talk about synergy, it's a mindset that, te that tells us, that allows us to know that a whole should be bigger and better than the sum of the parts. So working together as one should be better and bigger and more efficient than working separately to put together. It will not be the same as a whole. Being A is more efficient, more, more or better than a separate, B separate, C separate, D separate. So if we find out that being together, we are not more, we are not efficient, then we have to split. This is lack of synergy, which brings about the margin. So splitting a company into different units is called the margin. Is it clear now, please? Yes. So that lack of synergy, the value, we're talk about the price of the splitting company bigger than the price of the whole company. Then, and the focus company. So what are the impacts? So when the